front of him. He sees that, avoids the grenades, but he's got two guys coming from the Flag Dynasty pushing together pretty well here. Yeah, but Ace right there just picked up a huge double kill. Alpiard, two people right there before getting taken down. I feel as soon as these teams start to really warm up their shots, we're going to see some flag captures. I have to say, guys, we're six minutes in. Neither team really making any moves on the flags. They're just so evenly matched. They keep clashing for top middle control. Hines almost hitting that no-scope on a naval. You got APG pushing L2. And that shot looked like it should have picked up a kill there. I don't know what's going on. I think on. he shot him right between the legs. Nut shot. We're going to go to enable. He's set up top left here. He's sitting in the left pocket. And he's got the sniper rifle here for status quo. And this is the third rockets the Dynasty's got in this game. Destin has picked up, I'm pretty sure, almost all three rockets. If status quo wants to make a good push, they're going to need to start getting them. Hines going for the triple down low. He's going to hit a beat down. The assault's going to pick up that kill. Meanwhile, we are watching enable still trying to snipe top middle. And really, neither team able to use these snipers effectively early on. Yeah, and it's mainly just because these, these teams just don't seem warmed up yet. I mean, there's a lot on the line. Every national championship, you always get the butterflies in your stomach. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's what you're seeing right here. These teams are well-practiced. It's just they're nervous still. He's going for the three straight kills. Assault is going to finish that one as he runs the flag bottom middle. Three members of status quo alive, and Enable's got a sniper covering him over on man cannon side. Oh, Destin with a crazy shots right there. Assault moving the flag. He's got a little bit of cover fire from Flamestore coming off the respawn. Dodging grenades. Great patience there. And he's going to put in the first flag of the game at 22.30 left on the clock. That was a great job by Ace right there. Ace just stayed at their base and then popped up in the top right and then killed the people who were jumping to his flag. That's what you're looking to do when you're the straggler. It's not all about staying alive. It's all about that flag cap. I have to say, Ace has been kind of the key player. He's gotten at least three double kills so far in this game. You saw Assault was just on a killing spree as well as putting in that flag cap. Things starting to roll here for status quo, but now you're seeing Dynasty making an aggressive push. They're looking to counter cap. I mean, if we notice anything from Dynasty last event, it's this team thrives when they are down. We've seen countless amount of counter caps, countless amount of stopping of the flag. If this team's down 2-0, well, I won't rule them out. I think they could still come back to win 3-2. Yeah, remember, every single game against Final Boss, they were trailing in the winner's bracket. They end up sweeping Final Boss 3-0 with amazing clutch play after clutch play. You saw Clutch doing it, Heinz doing it, and Destin as well. Right now, you got Heinz and APG pushing in the lobby. Clutch is looking for that flanker. He knew Assault was in his base, and a great grenade and two nice BR shots to finish that kill. Dynasty putting an end to a status quo flag run, and now you're going to see Clutch make a, a run of his own, it looks like. Well, now that we've seen the first flag cap go in, we can see kind of a shift in how these teams are both playing. It, or, Dynasty has now become incredibly aggressive on the map. They're taking more risks. During the 0-0 the zero -zero standoff, you can see each team kind of holding back, not wanting to overcommit, cause the first mistake, allow the other team to cap. But now that they're losing 1-0, they're going to be going all out for this flag. And Enable is heating up with a sniper. That is not good news for Dynasty. Flamesword doing a nice job sitting top middle, distracting. Three members were down there momentarily for SQ. Now you got, it looks like, Ace coming off the respawn as Enable just trying to stay alive with the sniper. Dynasty continuously putting the pressure here on SQ. All members charging across the top, and they keep sending one guy over the man cannon. Yeah, and I mean, we watched Heinz do that all last event. He constantly hit the man cannon just as being a distraction. But right now, Enable needs to get to a spot where he can shoot this flag because they're getting ready to put this flag cap in. That's right. Heinz came over, stole the flag. He's going to be trying to run into his base. You see APG coming off the respawn will be there to help put it in. Heinz goes down to the snipe, but there you see APG putting in the flag cap. It's all tied up one to one with five minutes left in regulation time. Enable really needed to make a move there much quicker to shoot that flag. I mean, he was running rockets. You can get so many different angles with the sniper on the flag guy. Sure, well, but that was a great play by Dynasty to make sure to get that flag cap. They knew they all ended up on the flag knowing that the one was probably Enable was going to be sniping across the map and APG right there to put it in. And I have to give props to Clutch. Clutch was picking up the rockets while Heinz was running that flag, so Enable really couldn't poke out much. Clutch was waiting for him, looking left one and R1. Didn't see him there. Enable sitting back from his base. He's able to stop the flag once, but overall, Dynasty, just too many guys alive were able to put it in. You're watching Flamesword, though, the captain of SQ, trying to make a push and great PR shots on APG. He's on a killing spree, and now you're going to see him push in for the flag. And so far what I've seen is status quo is outslaying Dynasty for the most part of this game. 
both just like we saw in the last tournament, Dynasty is always coming up clutch with these flag returns, or guarding their base, playing great defense, and using it to generate offense. And guys, status quo has some of the best communication in the game. You have Ace and Flame Sword, amazing communicators, and I would actually love to listen in for a minute. Let's crank up our Astros and listen in with the status quo squad. I want to see what they're doing to set up for the second flag cap. APG coming up clutch, getting the flag return, stopping the naval and friends, and now APG is running a flag of his own. This could be the third flag cap for Dynasty. Yeah, that was great defense right there. We saw it in DC. Now we're seeing it here in Dallas. Dynasty stopping flag caps. Great. Man. There you go. Clutch is going to put it in. Three to one. Dynasty rallying there. As soon as we went to Astro, listen in, they really took over the game, guys. Yeah, They're just trying to put on a show for the fans, I think, Chris. Well, you could really hear it in APG's communication right there. They were really pumped up and got that last flag cap. All right, and taking a look at the stats here, Hines going plus six, 24 assists out of APG. He went negative three, but he also got that last flag cap and the return. And then Enable on the other side, putting up big numbers for status quo, but it wasn't enough. Dynasty, once again, is going to take the lead in the series. They're up one to zero. And it looks like uh, up next, guys, we got Team Slayer Construct coming up. What do you expect? Uh, I expect to see Status Quo bounce back in this game. Game type. This sounds like Status Quo is one of their strongest game types. Pretty sure at the uh, 16 land, they definitely won a decent amount of these. And I just think that Status Quo needs a win. If they want to stay in this series, they're going to need a win right now. And, and the thing, this is going to be a true test of both of these coaches. And T-Squared, he needs to be on top of his game for this camo. So I'm interested to see how he actually uses that to his advantage as a coach. You guys want to try something crazy? I'm with it. Should we start with the Astro listening with status quo and T-squared? Yes. Let's do it. Crank up the Astros. I want to hear what they're saying in between games. Status quo completely quiet down there. They're not talking. Yeah, that's not a very good sign for them right now. They need to be positive. This is where someone like T-Squared or Flame Sword needs to be helping his team, rallying the troops, making sure they don't worry about it. Something I remember always saying as a captain, don't worry about it. All right, so here we go. The game is starting. We're on board with Flame Sword. All right, I'm going to go over. And the draw. See, two guys, there's two weeks. Hines is up close. Hines is up close, guys. 
because status quo dominated the top and dynasty pretty much was just hitting portals just to hit them they didn't wait on each other and now you see they're going to get top control they're going to make a good comeback here clutch is going to use this camo effectively yeah status quo unfortunately did not make the greatest pitch on bottom either that or dynasty was really prepared for it they managed to get a bunch of kills and then clutch with the camo right now is the reason dynasty's at least got some sort of control it was 16 to 4 at one point a 12 kill lead for status quo now you're looking as the score is now 21 to 16 just a five kill game and make that four as clutch picks up a double kill yeah clutch right now is the reason like we said the dynasty's made the comeback in this game he used that camo extremely well he's on a killing spree ever since getting the camo at the bottom coming up the purple behind ace nice flank a little bit late though and now he's got the new rockets up he's got to worry about those but he's got to win this battle first against ace and he's unable to get to the rockets as assault is going to take him down well, let's check out my man APG when he get a chance. Actually, Hines doing work here, staying alive and close purple when I thought he was going to die. Just a two-kill game as Clutch picks up the new Rockets. Dynasty is really rolling now, boys. Yeah, and don't be surprised if you don't see them take the lead here in a couple seconds, Chris. I mean, they have great top control right now. They have Bobby absolutely dominated, and then they're just going to hold down the purple. They're forced to stay at gold. And all of Status Quo is stuck back gold, and now they're down low, setting up for this new camel. Let's see if Status Quo can do exactly what Dynasty just did two minutes ago which is get that camo, sneak up top, and retake top control. And I'm really surprised, Chris, right now, how status quo was unable to stop that camo guy. They did have entire top control. You've got T squared in your ear, making sure they're all in a great position to try to stop that camo guy. Dynasty just did such a great job getting that camo. Clutch making those rockets work. He dropped the naval shield. His teammate's going to clean up the kill, and he's, then he's going to pick up a second kill on Ace Clutch. Really playing extremely well here on the main stage, guys. And APG from Dynasty is going to get the second camo of the game. Yeah, the, the fact that Clutch was able to stay alive there and almost picks up that kill on Flamesword just shows the caliber he's playing this weekend. He's at the top of his game. Yeah. All that practice this morning definitely paying off. Let's go back to Clutch as he makes his way into the lobby. Going up for the double kill. He's taken down, but stay on Clutch's screen here. He's leading all players with 11 kills. Actually, Assault, check that out, guys. He has 14 kills already for status quo. Yeah, and just as we were talking about him not having a breakout performance on the main stage, he's been doing extremely well these last two games. Watching us all playing, his shot is on right now. It's just status quo, just needs to use a little bit more teamwork in order to beat this Donison team. We're at the five minute mark, five minutes into this game, 36 to 35. Dynasty after being down by about a 12 kill spread, coming right back to take the lead. They 